Hi, everybody. That's the second lecture for uh, Fourier transform. We explained last time how can you find the uh, Fourier transform of function using the Fourier integral form. There is another way um, to use something called Fourier transform pairs. As you see here in front of you on the table, they already, I mean, did for uh, many common um, signals, they did the Fourier transform and they put it in the table here. Like here, I mean, you see in the table, uh, the first one here, you have like uh, the impulse function, delta or delta function, and it's Fourier transform is equal to one. And if you have a signal which uses constant is equal to one all the time from minus infinity to infinity, that, that corresponding transform would be two by times delta of omega. So they, they have many functions in table. If you just scroll in this table, I just give them in uh, some of them in, uh, in your hand out. So you can have the most common uh, signal. And there are many textbook and many resources they do the table that they make it easy for you. So what we are going to do if we have th this kind of table that tell me the Fourier transform of functions. So now your job, if you are asked to solve the problem using Fourier transform pairs or using this table, so you got to adapt the the signal that is given in a specific problem to match one of these given formula in the table. Let me explain to you, I mean, what I mean by that. We'll take just an, an example. Let's assume that the function is given in this way. I'll sketch it as the vertical axis. That's the time axis. Now let's call it x of t. I'm sorry, it has to be written not capital when it's function of time. Should make it like small. That's x of t. And the maximum is equal 10 and go minus two and then it becomes zero. And again, at two and becomes zero. So it look like one triangle here in the middle. How can, first, I mean, if all, try to find the expression, mathematical expression for this one. So I will say that X of T, it has like three region, right? Yes, it has three region. There is one uh, from minus two up to times zero, it's a straight line. The Y intercept is equal 10 and the slope is equal 10 over two is equal five. So 10 uh, plus five T. All right, and that's happened when t is between minus two and zero. And there's another line here uh, between, um, uh, let me just uh, make this clear for you, this is only 10. Uh, it's, it's 10 minus five t, the slope is negative of this straight line. So I, I just did it, you know, let me just write it here, that the equation is 10 minus five t, and here is equal 10 plus 5t and then zero. Otherwise, that's from uh, zero to two. Otherwise, all right. Uh, this expression, uh, both, you know, they are similar except only the sign. So usually when you have something like that, you can use absolute value. So I can write it uh, simply. Uh, I, I just wanna make, wanna make sure when you write this small, it has to be like that. This two, the first two expression can be uh, simplified to that minus five absolute value of t. So absolute value of t, I mean, it make it the negative positive, right? So that will be when the absolute value of t less than two. That would mean from minus to two from this, this one, and zero otherwise. So I simplify it using the absolute uh, value here to express both because the sign only is different. Then I try to find something in the table. I will go back to the table to see something similar to this one. That's the trick. So, well, let's just uh, look for that table. Of course, I mean here, I mean, it's not this one, it's not one UT, it's not this, not this one. It, it looks something like that. It's similar, something like that. Well, I will just take it 
And let me just take it and see, I mean, how close we are. Let's just take a copy. All right. I'll take a copy of this one. Oh, and um, uh, right in the screen. And this go to our problem here. Yeah. Now, that's what we have at 10 minus five absolute of t and this one, one minus t over a. So I'll try, I wanna try to get something uh, close to that one minus, but this is 10. So I'll take, I'll say, I can write 10 minus five t is, I take 10 as a common factor. I got one like in this expression and minus two uh, half, right? Minus half t. That's all I did, all right? So now, I mean, this one inside, it's close to this one. I can write it, I mean, even more clear. I mean, just to make it exactly the same, it's one minus absolute value of t divided by two. So it's like my a is equal to, all right, that's good. So my function now, x of t, it will be equal 10 times this one, which is, I mean, let me call it f of t. This f of t like this one, I just got it there. But then what? No, it's very easy. In this one, the Fourier series of this one is giving the table. I will go to the table and I will show you. It said there in the table, when you have this uh, formula, that that's, I mean, the corresponding uh, uh, Fourier uh, transform. Let me just take it and uh, implement it. All right. All right. Now I'll take this one. We'll go back to our uh, board here. So this function has a, a, a Fourier transform equal to a sinc a w. I'll tell you what does mean. But this means just write out f of t. This one it will be equal a sinc a w. And A is equal to, in my case here, that's what we found. So I will replace A by two, and that will be two, two omega, all right? So in the end, uh, multiply by 10. So I will say now my X capital omega is equal 10 times two will be 20. Seeing N, that that's the transformation so it, it's just it. i didn't make an integration because we really done it and in the table so i just i use it all right but you have to be careful about the question the ask to use the integral uh, for your integral formula or using the transform pair uh, we did that before about sync i mean sync is like uh if you say sync they uh they, no, don't not like that i'm just write it I mean, anything like uh alpha it's equal to sine alpha divided by alpha, all right? So in this example that we did, sin 2w means sine 2w divided by 2w, that's it. So we're done with the problem. You see how easy it is when you use that? But I mean, it's really, you got to, to work it out to make it match the formula in the table. All right, next uh, video, I'm going to explain how to use the inverse of integral form. All right, did you see them? Have a look.